What up guys, James Riley, back Philip boys. It's been a couple months, I think two or three months to be exact, but we haven't posted anything in a while. Um, you know, work just, just getting busy and stuff, still kicking it in the winter time. Uh, winters actually end up being some of my best selling uh, months, I think, when I look back at all the the track records and stuff. <coughs> November, December are always super high gross months for me, at least in my business and what I consider good. Um, but it's been a while since I last posted. Um, for us, you know, I can't speak for Jacob, but I just, for me, I got a little bit overwhelmed with the negativity and the bullshit that was going on on Facebook, YouTube, behind the scenes. It's just too much garbage, man, you know, and... Unfortunately, it seems like some of the bigger YouTubers kind of try to shit on the little guys. And we just happen to be the littler guys. So, you know, we have ideas. They say, ooh, wow, let's take those ideas and put them in our own thing. And we've bought lots of, you know, they've bought lots of subscribers. They have, you know, all these things. I mean, the window cleaning niche is like so small. It's not even like worth doing anything you know what I mean it's just kind of for fun for us I think um you know but I really want to start helping uh new guys get into the trade maybe give them ideas and things that they can use or not use I don't really give a shit um we seem to have a lot of haters we started out really strong and then we picked up a lot of haters during the uh 2018 season or 2019 I don't even remember because I don't really care but had some stuff to do with uh, buckets on a belt and stuff like that anyways and after that that kind of left a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths I guess but through the years we've kind of noticed that you know it's just the bigger guys they shit on people and they try to take their ideas and the bigger companies, they all kind of run and try to collect all that money from everybody, you know. And I don't know, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to talk about, you know, which tools. And these are all my opinions. And, you know, I'm not telling you guys that I'm right or that I'm wrong or that this is the way to do something. Do it. Clean windows. Do whatever you want, however the fuck you want. But... I'm a legitimate window cleaner out here all the time, small business owner, trying to make a living cleaning windows. I am not the best. I am not the worst. I have a particular way that I do things, and it's no it's no BS. There's no flash. There's no gimmicks. Um, I think that's what a lot of this YouTube stuff is or was. I've noticed that it's really started to die down. I actually don't watch anybody else's stuff anymore I only concentrate on me and my business but I would like to give other people tips so I'd like your feedback um, you know don't forget to like or thumbs down the video I had to say that because every time I post a video like there's a bunch of dudes that just like shit on it the moment that it pops up in their feeds you know which is funny to me and I actually enjoy it because it's like wow thanks thanks for your time you know because you're a piece of shit. So you put out shit, you get shit back. You know, I'm a strong believer in that. But anyways, I'd like to talk about stuff. I'd like to talk about our favorite Ederay products. Obviously, we're huge on Ederay. And, you know, other people have, like, joined us. Ederay's always been around. I'm not saying we're the poster boys. But, you know, we, we know. We know who they are. You know who you are. And you guys kind of, you know, like, ooh, I could get free stuff too. Because we get free stuff. We've gotten lots of free stuff because we make videos and we do things and people want to give us stuff and they're nice and they're kind and our reviews or our opinions might help them. And what is it to give a few dollar, you know, tools and things like that here and there. Plus not to mention that you actually work when you do the videos and you test the tools and you do all that stuff, you're like actually really working for it. So it's kind of... <clears throat> it's kind of counterproductive, but the funny thing is is that I can literally say that everything that I have The majority not everything but a majority of the stuff I have personally bought And then I've been given the same stuff that I've already bought and because you can only have so much Ederay stuff, right? 
But I'd like to talk about NRA products that are awesome, NRA products that suck. I'd like to talk about Sorbo products that are great, Sorbo products that suck, which is most of them. Um, Unger products, why we don't use them and why we don't give a shit. Mormon products, why we don't use them and why we don't give a shit. Uh, you know, wagtails. I haven't used a wagtail in like, I don't know how long. Squirt bottles, spray bottles, the typical stuff, belts, all that stuff. I'd like to talk about marketing, things like that. All my stuff is actually basically like free. I started my business on Craigslist <laughs> and like... I have some really great tips that still apply to Craigslist. And my business is a house cleaning, window cleaning business. But I, for the last two or three years, have been doing almost just window cleaning. I've subbed out a lot of my house cleaning and it's come to bite me in the ass. And then I back off and don't do any of it. And then I pursue some of it. But window cleaning is something I do almost every single day. Granted that I'm, you know, I'm a part-timer guy out here, <coughs> but, you know, no, but I, I clean windows every day, like, that's my fucking business. Um, what I mean by part-time is, is that I don't put in a full labor eight-hour a day physically. I do other things that are part of my business, but I don't always put in an eight-hour day. Um, I like to talk about customers, customer relations what to avoid, what to look for, um, Tucker products that are awesome, Tucker products that suck, distributors that fucking suck, distributors that are awesome, um, you know, anything that would help new guys, and maybe even the vets might like to watch it, maybe, you know, I don't know, I don't care, you're pretty much set in your ways, but <clears throat> you know, you can get on here and argue in the comments and, you know, tell people what what really is what, you know, James is wrong because he thinks fucking Sorbo sucks, you know, whatever. I got a lot of inside stuff. We got a lot of stuff that we know that happened behind the scenes that we don't publicly, publicly put out because it might hurt or offend other people. So we try to be really nice about that. Um, you know, just, just whatever, man. Screen washers, no screen washers, water fed pull versus ladder and squeegee, yada, yada. I find that one really interesting because I actually do a lot of my two story homes, homes I've never been to, with a pull and squeegee. And I have perfect results and perfect customers, you know, it's like, I don't know, and you got these people that cry, you know, they're like, water fed pulls so fast, I'd like to really talk about how traditional is actually faster than water fed pull, and when water fed pull can be faster than traditional, um, they both have their places, I'd also like to talk about, and I don't have a whole lot of water fed experience, I do own a system, a zero pier with the zero pole and stuff, but I would like to talk about opinions of things that I see that I think suck or that might be good or whatever you know I have a lot of tools that I use that I've used that ultimately just suck and why I don't use them anymore or why I continue to use some of them you know and also yeah that's it so I'd really just like to get back into it and you know um hopefully get some more subscribers we're not buying them that's why we're kind of low like that you know i've noticed like even some of the newer guys the good ones that kind of start to tap out at like four or five hundred subs and then you know you, you gotta buy the rest you know you're like where are the twelve thousand window cleaners that have time to watch these fucking stupid videos I don't think they exist. You got to get like your mom, your friends, your brothers, your sisters, all these people to watch it. And I don't care if my family or friends fucking watch these videos. You know what I mean? But hopefully this will help some new guys. Um, and just give me ideas, man. Let's talk about stuff. And then if you want, you can check out my other channel, which has like great videos. It has a video about how I remove hard water. I think it's got like 12 or 13,000 views and like so many thumbs up. Like people really like that. 
See, I'm also in the house cleaning world, and the house cleaning people like really love and respect me. And the window cleaning groups are kind of all like, they all think they're big and bad. And so everybody kind of butts heads and they all just like snide keyboard warriors. Like, you know, that's why I like certain groups. I'd also like to talk about groups to stay away from, which in my opinion are all fucking Facebook groups. Except for ones that are more smaller or seem like family. Into the Flow is like an awesome group. You got people like, you know, Sean Gavin from Tucker in there, like, donating polls and crazy shit for fundraising, for, you know, window cleaner guys that have been hurt and stuff. You have, like, a lot of awesome, great people in that group. Um, and it's a small knit group, and it feels right. There's not a whole lot of shit talk. I don't think there's any shit talk, actually. And there's, like, you know, it's all just positive shit on, like, what you can do to better your business or you know, ideas and brainstorming, where if, like, you go into, like, pro window cleaning or something, it's the same fucking shit all the time, it's, like, complete garbage, you know, people are like, water fetch sucks, you're not a window cleaner unless you're high rise, all this crazy shit, but anyways, I don't care anymore, dude, Check it out, like it. I'll post some window cleaning stuff and things like that. I also got some cool Tucker Alpha Scrubbers. They have a little pads now. I'd like to show you guys some of that stuff. There's videos about my screen washer, Samurai Experience. I'm using the same one, I think, on year two. It's perfect, it's tits, it's what I like. You don't like it, whatever, I don't give a shit. It's just simple and cost effective. Um, we can talk business cards, we can talk all sorts of stuff, portfolios. I'll give a shout out to Luke or whatever, you know, I got this little portfolio. It's cool, I kind of keep like my little agreements and general property photography and video release forms. I've got my certificate of existence, all that kind of stuff, and then I put business cards in it. I'm going to start another folder, one specifically for showing clientele's of work and what we do, kind of a portfolio of different services we provide with before and after pictures and customers that we work for specifically only for new clientele to take a look at to build a report and then um, this one I just keep business cards in it kind of like I'm collecting Pokemon or something I'm collecting business cards and I write the frequency the amount on it and I just put it in there just so when I want I can easily look at it and say oh yeah you know I still have this customer, I have this customer. Maybe I can upsell these customers or switch it up, switch them from bi-weekly to weekly or whatever. It's just an awesome idea and that one came from Luke the Window Cleaner, so shout out to Luke. And yeah, anyways, take it easy guys. It's kind of already a long video, it's like 13 minutes. But peace, dude.